after The Express published Thompson's articles, someone smashed the windows at the paper's offices. Less than a year later, Youssef Bey died of cancer, before he could be tried for the rape charges. Chauncey Bailey wrote his obituary. Bay chose one of his spiritual followers to run the business. He left behind about a dozen wives and over 40 children. Had he gone to trial and been convicted, it would have been very difficult for the bakery to retain any sort of political pull in this city. But I think political leaders still felt able to embrace the bakery to some extent. Uh, even though it now had this mark on its past, it wasn't a, a legally binding mark. The East Bay Express published an obituary of its own, for which Thompson received regular threats from bakery members. Then Yusef Bey's successor went missing and was later found buried in the Oakland Hills. We had predicted in our stories that they were probably going to turn their guns on each other now, and they started. But, you know, it also drove home the fact that they were willing to carry out these death threats if they, you know, really felt inclined. So Chris Thompson left town for several months. In the meantime, one of Yusef Bey's younger sons had taken control of the organization. But he was killed in October 2005, the victim of a carjacking attempt. A month later, 19-year-old Yusef Bey IV made his presence known. He allegedly led a group of men to two Oakland liquor stores, all in an attempt to address a pressing community issue. Liquor stores, I think that, you know, of course, I mean, common sense, liquor stores shouldn't be in our community like it is. Every liquor store, there are drug activities. Every liquor store, they're hanging out. Every liquor store, there, it's, it's, it's a gang, it's a magnet for gang violence. I mean, in my opinion, I don't call for the government or the city to do anything, but I do think that our people shouldn't allow it. It's just, you know, it's upsetting when you think that people can um, just think that they can just act any old kind of way because they got a bow tie on. I had met some of the young men prior to Dr. Bayser's death, but after he was buried, I had no more contact with the bakery because I assumed that there would be a power struggle. I knew that given access to large amounts of cash, they would do something stupid. To vandalize the liquor store on tape didn't make much sense. So I would not have been surprised at anything they did, even murder. 